Hi, this is Richard Earnhardt. I will be your lecturer for financial mathematics. At the end of this lesson, students are expected to demonstrate the following. Calculate the finance charges on credit card bills. Calculate the monthly payments on consumer loans. Calculate the stockholders' dividend and yield, interest on bonds, and net asset value in a mutual fund. This section will discuss some of the practical applications of interest theory in our everyday life. We have the effective rates, an example on amortization for car or house loans, finance charges on credit cards, stocks, bonds, and mutual funds. Effective interest rate is equivalent to interest rate compounded annually. We can use this to compare two rates with different nominal periods. This is the formula for the effective rate that is equal to 1 plus J over M raised to M minus 1, where J is the compounding interest rate, and then M is the number of periods in a year. If one bank adver advertises its rate as 6.2% compounded monthly and another bank advertises its rate at 6.3% compounded annually, so which rate is better for an investment? In this case, if you are the investor, so we will choose the one with the higher interest rate. For bank one, the effective rate would be, that is 6.2% compounded uh, monthly, so your J will be 0 0.062 in decimal form, and then we have 12 uh, months in a year, so we have ra uh, quantity raised to 12 minus 1, and that is 0 0.064 or 6.4%. The bank 2 only offers 6.3%. So therefore, if you are the investor, you will choose option number 1. An annuity is a series of equal payments made at regular intervals of time. It is also known as a sinking fund, which are used for future financial obligations such as educational expenses for children, replacement of a machine or equipment, and amortization of loans or assets. Ordinary annuity is one whose payments are made at the end of each interest period. The present value P and the future value F of an ordinary annuity no? A are given by the following formula. So for the, if you are given the principal value, okay, the formula will be the annuity divided by, this is the annual interest rate, which is J over M. Okay, so 1 minus 1 plus I raised to negative, uh, negative N. And then for the future value, that will be A over I quant times quantity 1 plus I raised to N minus 1. Okay, so let's have an example on the amortization, on how to compute the amortization for the purchase of a house and lot. A house and lot amounting to 3.5 million is to be amortized by monthly payments over five years at an annual interest rate of 10%. So what is a monthly payment? Okay, so here, P is the present value, so we have uh, 3.5 million, and then the annual interest rate would be J over M. We have 10% compounded uh, monthly, so that will be 0 0.1 divided by 12, and that is 0 0.008333. And the total number of periods N will be 12 times 5 years, so that will be 60 periods. So using, for, using the formula no, for ordinary annuity, Okay, so this is your P, and then A is unknown, 
this is your j over m j over m this is your n uh, uh, n the total number of periods okay and computing for the value of this quantity that is 47.0654 okay so, and then we cross multiply here so 3000 uh, 3 million 500000 divide by uh, this coefficient no? so that gives you 74,364 pesos monthly okay monthly for uh, the house and that loan no? for five years now we go to the finance charges on credit cards a finance charge is the amount of interest paid by the customer who purchases product items using a credit card. That which is based on the average daily balance. The average daily balance is computed as follows. So that, that is the total purchase amount during the uh, billing month divided by the actual number of days in the billing month, usually 30 days. And then the finance charge on a month would, would be using the simple interest rate that will be the average daily balance multiplied by the uh, current rate.